Greetings guys, it's Brian over at New Tech Cleaning Systems and I'm here with Mike Schaefer, the owner of El Diablo Truck Mounts and we're at the Experience Trade Show, which is the spring, they do a spring and a fall show, this is the spring show. We're showing off the new two, uh, 2022 El Diablo Truck Mount and we're showing it with their new configuration, which we're going to talk about real quickly through the video. Um, the number one question that I get asked is Brian, what is different about this new El Diablo system versus the old prior system, okay? So we're gonna run through this real quick. Um, when Mike and I first got together, uh, he probably thought I was crazy. I gave him a little list of things that I would kind of improve because nothing was ever bad. It just there was things we could make a little bit better. And, and him and I ended up getting along really great because he wanted to do all of them and he did them all. So uh, Mike, I mean, you guys improved the powder coating um, the old El Diablos, although the powder coating was good, the new ones are substantially better. I mean, actually, you guys went to an all-new powder coat system, We did, right? actually, and actually the powder coating, it wasn't even powder coated before. It was like a dump truck paint that was cooked on. So when I toured the factory, I was there, and he said, make sure you have an hour. I made it like 10 minutes, and like, this is not going to work. And I figured out what the problem was. You can't bake that on there. Number one, it's hard to stick the stainless steel, period. Yeah. It's got to be prepped. So we, we, we bring it in, we sandblast them, right. then we treat them with a coating, and then we powder coat them on top of that that promotes the sticking. And so we've had, yeah, way better. We've noticed at our shop a substantial difference. We've sold a lot of these over the last 24 or 30 months, and we've noticed a gigantic difference, and we don't see any chipping, peeling, rusting, like it's, they, they, they come in, they look like new stuff. So yeah. that was a big improvement for sure. Um, another thing that I know you're real proud of is although the dirty water tank looks the same as the old original system, you've completely redesigned this dirty water tank, right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So when we configured that, what, what, what was happening, uh, the very first tanks that are notorious for cracking, it was a problem. Um, the new tank is bent, there's less welded parts on it. Not every corner, every angle, everything is welded in the moldings. This one's not. They're bent, they're one piece. They actually, it's hard to see on the top, but the top of the tank actually folds in, and then the tank sits on it. So it's actually, the, the, the old tank used to be the same size as the lid. Now it's a little bit wider. So the, it's gusseted. The inside flanges on the gussets actually have a C-bend, and they're stitch welded on both sides which allows credible, it just doesn't Yeah, flex. because when they're under load, they yep. evacuate. They, they want to try. Yeah. But the way this is set up now, when we put that load on it with the back, with the Kunkel valve, they don't flex like right. the old ones. Yeah, and for those of you it's who huge. don't know, the Kunkel valve is something that's been real exclusive to El Diablo for a number of years. It, it, it just allows for maximum vacuum within the system without loss or leakage of air. Uh, reducing airflow. So this increases their airflow a lot. And speaking of airflow, um, the, on the top, if you can catch that in the video, there's this is a dual wine machine, so you have dual vacuum ports. If you'll notice, they're free flowing elbows. And what that does is, instead of your traditional elbow where the vacuum air is racing into the machine, it smacks the back of that plastic fitting, then drops into the dirty water tank. This, there's nothing that stops it, it just free flows, which greatly increases our vacuum and our airflow. And that's why when people say, man, these El Diablos, the carpet gets dry so yeah. fast. That's one of the reasons why. We, yeah, we, yeah. we figured that took an, an extra hour off of our already short dry times. It, it increased yeah. it amazingly well. Yeah. Right. Now, I know right away, this is obviously a very cool setup. You guys did a really nice job on this, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate um, it. I already know right away, my guys that buy from me, they're gonna be blowing up about this stand kit. And I, we're just gonna talk about it real briefly. You mentioned to me that the same quality powder coat that's on this is on the stand, right? Yeah, we do it all in-house. And what made you, I already know, but tell, no. tell everyone why you did this stand, because it, so, a lot of people don't realize, but I'm a 30 year veteran cleaner too. So I know what the customer wants as much as what I wanted. I wanted maximum room with minimal, you know, wasted space. Wasted space. Yeah. So we designed this, Kurt and I sat up, we designed it. We can put our tile spinners, our wands, um, full size area rugs all the way up front. I mean, it just it opened the truck back up. Um, we've had huge positive feedback. These are available now um, with the order of the truck mount. You can pre-order it special. Yep. We build them for the Ford Transit and the Dodge ProMaster. Awesome. That's so. fantastic. I think that's really a great kit. Maximizes all the square footage in the back of the truck. Let's 
zip around the side because speaking is square footage. I want to show all the room. Yeah. Um, with this, you know, the traditional carpet cleaner was always getting their machines out the side of the truck, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We still build a lot of those. But now you have options where you can also go out the back. Look at the space back here. If you wanted to put dehumidifiers, if you're a restoration guy, air scrubbers, um, portable carpet extractors, flood pumpers, I mean, you got all kinds of space back here. And another thing that I like, as a guy who's worked on truck mounts for 29 years, anything I have to do mechanically, I can get to flow switches and things like so simple. I don't have to break my back to get in and do the service work on this uh, truck. So I think this is really going to open up some guys' minds moving forward with their installs, I think. So, yeah. For so, sure. It's worked out really well for us. Yeah. Opening it up. And then... Uh, just real quick, you've got your fresh water tank, which you've also redesigned for those guys who love the water, original water wells. This is the new version of the water well, which will fit in the new Ford Transits and the new uh, ProMaster truck. But in addition, you've also redesigned the red rack on the top, which is for holding additional chemical on the truck. Yep. So you can hold some chemical and different things in the truck, which is really neat. Instead of making them hollow, they used to roll, they used to rust. Right. So now them, that solid stock, it's not hollow. Yeah. So they, they've been holding up really well. They don't bend, they don't break. You can throw stuff at it. I mean, guys right. are hard on these trucks. So we got the same powder coat on those as we do on the machine, same colors. Um, it, it's working out really nice. We sold a lot of those. Those are available as well. Yeah. Um, and this tank is redesigned so it will go over the wheel well in a pro mass well. So right now, that is the only tank that I know of that will go over the tank or the wheel well in a pro mass. Yeah. So guys, a lot of great features, a lot of exciting things happening. Um, El Diablo, you guys are doing some really great things with the truck setups and stuff. We really appreciate it. Um, I think we should end it with that. We're going to go get the show started. If you guys have any questions about truck mounts at all, anything about installations, things, call Mike over at El Diablo. Call me over at New Tech. Um, we'll be happy to help you with that. My direct number is 248-548-5211. And Mike, what is your direct Our number? Our direct number is 605-786-7538. And guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.